We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages so as to find a better world. Leader, that would be Jackson, a man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion, the better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. It is a gift from the Earth itself, in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. May you find your way. Go past the flesh. You are new, and you are welcome. I am Croatoa. I am not so new. We dream, dream of a better world, not falling apart like ours. And when we find a dream that makes us forget this world, we dream that we do not have to wake up. Look to Jackson. He is the one who knows. But do not strain to see him here. Jackson is away. Ponga grows strong. Ponga understands. That is all. I do not know if this is a secret. But I have always used this shovel. It has seen much work and much dirt. If it helps, have it. But be careful not to cut yourself. It can make you sick. That hill is holy. It must be cleared. Jackson told us this. Some went to fight. I stayed with Ponga. Ponga does not fight. Ponga grows where it can. Ponga knows what is important. Not he. Sen, pardon me while I commune with the higher planes. Looks like another newbie in the tribe, and still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. 
The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Yeah, it's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm going to go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. I guess you mean Jackson. He speaks the word of enlightenment at us, but he ain't fit to lead a song, much less this bunch of morons. I've been meaning to talk to him about this place, but he's off doing his meditation thing. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's stabbing time. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune. To make my mark. To be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back. Eventually. Just not quite yet. Well, there's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. I only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Yet another new member? What, are we offering a special? Punga may have offered you wisdom, but it looks like it's still going to be a while before you really learn to accept it. Until then, you answer to me. I'm Woodrose, the tribe mother. I'm Den Mother. I keep us safe and make sure everyone remembers to eat and sleep. It's more work than you might think. A lot of our members have transcended conscious thought. Someone's got to take care of them. Are you kidding? Why wouldn't we? As much as we want to reject earthly desires, we still need to eat, right? It grows fast, fills you up, and you can make a lot of things with it. 
Anything it doesn't provide, we can get by trading it to outsiders. That shifty bastard Tobar's always looking to buy more from us. Jackson said he saw its destruction in a vision. There were some concerns, but when the leader says it's a mandate from beyond, you don't ask why. Blessings to you on your journey. Yet yeah, peace. Enough, Gavin. Leave me alone, okay? Be at peace. Your teachings are wise. Go past the flesh. You infiltrated those tribals yet? And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information? I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Back to business.
Hello? You are... a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps? What brings you here? I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from a higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the disruptive ghoul, all wisdom comes from the transcendent master. It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you a great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings, and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea caves well. Seek him out, and all shall be revealed. We are a family of dreamers, a band of astral explorers, and a church of the mind. In time, we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school, as we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The shining mind speaks to me in my meditations, and guides us always. We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the transcendent master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the master. Yes, commune with him while I see to my tribe. There is much to be done. Yes, fellow seeker? Yes.